Eagles Nest Handicappers race number six and winning Icy carries an extra six pounds for his last start win. He's had one go on the all-weather and ran second. Classic Unicorn has won five times, but they've all been over the thousand. Mark the moment gets a wider draw, but gets a ten-pound claim also for Ellis Wong. Lightning Bolt has a wider draw. Gummy Gummy's beaten by Youthful Deal at his last two starts. No Youthful Deal in this. Manstar ran on Sunday. Flying Dragons, a three-time course and distance winner. Everyone's victory. Class four winner last time comes back up in grade. And... Uh, down towards the bottom, we've got Beato having his all-weather debut and also Elon, who's won twice over the course and distance. That is the starters list for race number six. And Nick, what does the speed map tell us? Yeah, well, let's take a look at where they're likely to land. Now, Classic Unicorn, obviously, we know that he's really only got one way of going, in all honesty, and he's drawn well in two. So I imagine he'll press forward. He's, he's got that good gait, and Matthew Chadwick uh, knows him quite well. Uh, Mark, the moment, uh, interesting runner here. Now, Ellis Wong is been, uh, has been booked to take the ride here. Claims 10, so we might well see uh, see him press forward and, and make a bit of use of him with that 10 pounds coming off. Uh, man star, I don't think it will be too far away. Beato and uh, Gummy Gummy Paul, the horse looks ready to win, can sit close to the pace. Yeah, he won't be too far away. I think the, this field will open up a bit with Classic Unicorn in the race and Mark the Moment with The Apprentice. Those two should sort of go on with it, which will suit all the horses. I think horses like Lightning Bolt, Elon at the back, uh, they're, they're going to get good, good opportunities. Well, our focus is the horse there on the rail. Horse number one in a winning icy. He's trained by Casper Founds. We heard from Casper prior to last weekend. He had a good day, so Nick spoke with the master trainer again earlier on this Tuesday. Casper winning icy. Uh, looks like a, a strong chance for you and your stable on Wednesday night. Back to the all-weather. Yeah, look, um, he's had the one run on, on the all-weather where he finished second. Um, what can you say about this horse? He's such a consistent mm. horse, you know. He uh, brings his A game every time he steps out to the races, and uh, we'd be expecting another good performance. Obviously, 135, you know, he started carrying a bit of weight now at the top end of the handicap, he rated 80, but he's got gate one. You know, he, he, sh he should be competitive again. He's such an honest horse. Uh, the win last time, obviously, he, he really does enjoy racing around Happy Valley. Obviously, the, the form of that race has worked out nicely, so he certainly comes into it in, in very good order. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, he's, uh, he's a quality animal, and uh, obviously now he's getting up in the sort of 80, so he's, his next step would be getting into Class 2 with the low weight and seeing if he's competitive. Come on, 24, there. 24 pounds this season, Casper. I mean, did, did you envisage, I mean, you obviously always hope that they can do it, but yeah. did you envisage at the start of the season that a horse like him would be able to, to rattle through the ratings like he has? Yeah, look, you always thought he'd sort of win a couple of races for you, but he could be a little bit better than, you know, yeah. uh, he's just tough, gives you everything, and uh, he's a chance to probably get to, to 90 points and then see what happens, but uh, he's done his job already. Does bringing him back to the all-weather give you, say, a bit of an option, I suppose, given that he is likely raced on the surface? Yeah, you need to obviously mix and match with these horses to see where they are, you know. If you just go one-dimensional, it becomes quite tough, but if they handle different surfaces and different tracks, uh, it gives us more options with them. Yeah, he certainly looks like he does. And just finally, Cass, how, how did your three uh, pull up out of the, the big race on, on the weekend? Yeah, very happy with Straight Aaron. He's pulled up a treat in Columbus County. and. Uh, Senya Toba again, unfortunately scoped with a lot of mucus, so it's uh, it's been quite frustrating. So he's he's off to China, and uh, hopefully some fresh air there and uh, out in the paddock for a few hours a day will uh, will help him clear it up himself naturally. There he is, Casper Founds, expanding further now. Nick on winning icy Wednesday night's no issue for him. The 1200s no issue, and he seemed to handle the track okay. He's only look at it. He did, he did it indeed. Yeah, and look, he's he's gone up a bit in the weight since then. He's actually up uh, 11 pounds since then, but in that intervening period he's, he's run some really nice races yeah he definitely has hasn't he and uh, it was a good win from him last start uh look he is getting up this is quite a tough race this one mm. but um look he's in good form he's got a good draw two of barry at number one to try and offset that 135 a touch by not having to do any early work the replay upcoming though paul features mark the moment running second in classic unicorn now this is two starts ago for mark the moment over the 1200 at sha tin He's since been down the track over the 1,000 at Happy Valley. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? But uh, Classic Unicorn, the other one's only had one go on the all-weather. I don't know if he's totally suited uh, over the 1,200 for, for him. And you can see him fading out here. Of the two, Mark, the moment, uh, he's got that uh, claim. He should be able to go forward from uh, barrier number 11. So uh, the claim will definitely help him. Yeah, look, uh, he was runner-up on the all-weather on his, his debut here in Hong Kong, in fact. And um, I didn't mind that run. So, mm -hmm. look, he's got 10 pounds coming off. Obviously, you know, Ellis Wong, not as experienced here on the dirt as some of the other 
riders, but he has got a good ride here, and I think he can figure. 117 pounds he will carry mark the moment. Gummy, gummy, Nick. He's been beaten favourite at his last two starts. There he is coming from well back in the field here. He'll be happy not to see you full deal in the fields this week. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, he'd be glad not to see the backside of, uh, of that horse because he is quite smart and, uh, and he's beaten him in his last uh, two runs. But look, as I mentioned there at the top of the programme, he's just ready to win. Uh, it looks glaringly obvious. I think Paul and Zach Purton's on again. Yeah, exactly. I thought, I'd, yeah... Like he's going to come up short, but I think he's ready to win. The other one, Lightning Bolt, I don't mind him yeah. because there's pace in this race and it will suit these back mm. runners as well. Benno Young, Paul, we've touched on it all season mm. about his record on the all-weather. There it is, 51 runners for 10 wins, over 50% in the first three. Yeah, exactly. He's just really, um, horses are really sort of clicking on this all-weather surface and look, he's, he's going to definitely get this opportunity once again to increase with those stats. Yeah, a bit more meat on the bone there as far as uh, Zach's concerned. That's 11 winners from 32 rides for, for Benno, yeah. so worth uh, worth you know looking at them, giving them a double look. Yeah. Here are Benno's runners, Nick. Obviously, mm. Gummy Gummy is the best of them, but what do you make of the other sources like Yes We Can and Handsome 12, very adept on the surface? Most definitely, and Fiery Diamond a bit the same, really, but look, he's got up in the weights now. Yes We Can, uh, look, he, he's, he's an honest type of horse, but I feel he just probably struggles at the level he, he's racing at now. And Handsome 12, that's a really strong race, the last, so um, he, he might be an each-way chance. He definitely, I, I think all those six, if they're placed, you wouldn't be yeah. um, surprised at all, because I think they're all got each way chances mm. place all up there you go there you go follow <laughs> Venno on a Wednesday night to all weather track Zasan Paul here he is running fifth on the turf now his best form has been on the all weather he's only won one from 36 since he's been here but he's been around the placings plenty of times definitely now when he did win that race that was in November 2020 when he won off a rating of 75 he's down to this rating of 60 at the moment so look he is capable he, he's been consistent on a place line without winning I'm going to put him in on a very minor line yeah, look, I couldn't find a spot for him. Uh, look, his record just you know, doesn't make as much appeal to me. I know, obviously, from a winning perspective, it, it isn't great at all. But, you know, he, he can run a race when he's on top. This horse can, too, on occasions. Nick Flying Dragon. Now, this is back at Happy Valley. Last time, Mark the Moment features here as well. He's a three-time course and distance winner, just slightly higher rated than what his best rating win has been, which is 62. Yeah, I mean, like you say, he's, he's, not, he's not too far off that. He's, he's only a couple of pounds higher at this stage. So he's, he's getting back to a decent sort of mark. Um, he beat Fiery Diamond, uh, if you go back to a run in, in February. That was off of 62, of course. And, um, you know, he's got to be some sort of chance, I think, Paul, under these conditions. Yeah, I mean, this is the right course and distance for him. He's just been out of a little bit of form recently, but that's been on the turf. So coming back to your weather might really switch him back on. And finally, everyone's victory. Paul, winning last time down in grade, what about coming back to Class 3 for Race 6? Well, he hasn't won in this, this class before everyone's victory, but he has been placed uh, on a couple of occasions there. He's had two seconds everyone's uh, victory. He comes in with a light weight. He's in form at the moment. So I'm going to give him a chance. I've included him. Yeah, uh, good to see him win this. He's, he's a nice horse who's certainly capable at the right sort of level. From memory, I think when he did go up in grade last time, he, he went up in grade, his first run in the company was a good one. So it might just be the time to catch him, maybe a confident sort of horse. He's got his head in front. He might be able to back it up here. And he will be an each-way prize for everyone's victory. You've been with Gummy Gummy lately. You're sticking solid again. Yeah, I have to, don't I? He's run second at his last couple. A little bit costly running second as favourite, but hopefully he can come through and win this uh, Gummy Gummy. Everyone's victory, as you mentioned, up and grade there for him. So I think that's a good thing for... Um, everyone's victory with the lightweight and as Nick said it's, it's good to catch him sort of when he's on form so we know he is on form at the moment. Uh, Lightning Bolt he goes in there for third now Lightning Bolt's off a rating of 70 did win off a rating of uh, 68 Lightning Bolt but has been third off 73 so he's capable and then Sarzan in for fourth now he's one off 75 as we mentioned but it was a long time ago November 2020. Five nine four and seven for me. Yeah, a lot has happened since then, that's for sure. Uh, gummy Gummy on top for me, a bit like Paul here. I think he, he's a horse who looks ready to, to win one. Uh, recent form has been good and uh, no youthful deal here to uh, to stop him in his tracks. Uh, winning Icy, the top one goes in. Only second start in the all-weather. His form of his last win has worked out well. Hoss was uh, the horse he beat that day, plus Harmony and Bless. So he's certainly got uh, the form in the book to suggest he can go well. Mark the moment's a horse I'm quite interested in. I think it'd be a decent price also. And, uh, I can see a big run coming from him in this race. And everyone's victory, uh, again, a bit like Paul mentioned there, this might be the time to catch him here. Uh, he's got a lightweight, he's in form, and I'm sure he'll give his running once again. Five, one, three, and nine.